My name is Sam Vakni. I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. Do we have a moral obligation to become parents? Some would say yes. The Bible, for instance. There are three types of arguments to support such a contention. Number one, we owe it to humanity at large to propagate the species. We owe it to society to provide manpower for future tasks. Argument type two, we owe it to ourselves to realize our full, full potential as human beings and as males and females. Parenting is the best way of going about it. Argument number three, we owe it to our unborn children to give them life. How strong are these arguments? The first two arguments are easy to dispense with. We have a minimal moral obligation to humanity and society. That is true. But this obligation is merely to conduct ourselves so as not to harm others. All other ethical edicts are either derivative or spurious. Similarly, it is true that we have a minimal moral obligation to ourselves, but this obligation is to be happy while not harming others. If bringing children to the world makes us happy, all for the better. But if we would rather not procreate, it is perfectly within our rights not to do so. And what about the third argument? It's very shaky. Only living people have rights. There is a debate whether an egg is a living person, but there can be no doubt that it exists. Its rights, whatever they are, derive from the fact that it exists and that it has the potential to develop life. The right to be brought to life, the right to become, pertains to a yet non-live entity, and therefore, in my view, is null and void. Had this right existed, it would have implied an obligation or a duty to give life to the unborn and to the not yet conceived. No such duty or obligation exists. Not even the most radical fundamentalist religious person would say otherwise. Obligations exist toward born or unborn conceived entities, babies, fetuses. There is no obligation in principle and as an idea to the unconceived. So you see, all three arguments are weak and None of them supports the contention that we have a moral obligation to become parents.